seen that. I don't think we do, but we try anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Do we have any birthdays or anniversaries this week? Did I go wrong? Mary, you're being, you're being called out here. <laughs> Up already to go or not? Oh, okay. Oh, and just so you know, if you if you only like left or Twix, I do have two of them here. No important question, how many? You can't remember? <laughs> you slept since then? I've been celebrating all month, so it's good. Thanks, Sunday. Look at Kim. I'm going to take a break. <laughs> changing of the colors rally, there were people there from 30 different nations oh, and countries wow. around the world, about 100 of them, and we got to really get to know some from uh, uh, Switzerland and uh, the Netherlands, and uh, the guys from the Netherlands are really crazy, even worse than I am. Yeah. Amen. They love <laughs> Jesus. I know. Well, okay, since you asked. <laughs> They do unicycle drag races. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Okay, they take the front end off of a motorcycle and drag race that for a hundred feet. Oh my! It's crazy stuff. Let me tell you. But <laughs> they almost may be an honorary member. But in fact, the thing, one of the things that I find is that the truth today is hard to get, no matter where you go to get the truth. It seems like there's always a different story for the same situation. One of the things that we discovered during our leadership conference was that the Jesus Film Project, and you've heard me talk about that 
the vice president is in charge of the Muslim countries and the stories, and he had probably seven stories. And I'm just going to highlight one of them to let you know that there are thousands, literally thousands of Muslims becoming Jesus followers Amen. because of the Jesus Christ. One of the stories he told us was that, you know, which one to pick, it, it's tough. They're all dynamic. And every time you heard one of them, it just inspired you to believe that God is at work and His truth is being spread. They are having an outreach in Mecca. Now, you know what Mecca is. That's where the Muslims, at, at least once in their life, they got to make a trip to Mecca. Well, they've, they've gotten Christians to go there, and they're dressed up like Muslims, so they don't stand out. But they go around this square, I think it is, praying. And they're praying to Jesus. And they're singing Jesus love songs. And people come up and ask them, what is going on? And they said, well, if you really want to know, they have probably about 10, maybe more, probably more, safe houses that are showing the Jesus film continuously. They usher them into one of them houses, and after viewing the Jesus film, without fail, they become a Jesus follower and go out to that Muslim square praying to God through Jesus and singing Jesus love songs. That is just one of the many stories of the Muslims. And to hear the amount of, of visions and dreams that these men are having that are in the hierarchy of the Muslim world. And these people are showing up saying, hey, I have something I want to show you. And they get to watch it. And when they're done, they become Jesus' followers. So be encouraged. God is at work. And He is moving heaven and earth to let His voice and His word be made known. Amen. So thank you, Jesus. All right, if we don't have any other announcements. Uh-oh, Kelly's raising her hand. If you wanted to announce, you should have been up here. No? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I just wanted to remind you, Operation Christmas Child, we have to have the boxes in by the 12th. We have a couple more back there, and on the bulletin board, there's a 40% off coupon for Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is helping with Operation Christmas Child. They're on the bulletin board out here, so if you want to help the youth out, they're filling a majority of the boxes. If you don't want to take a box but would like to help, we'll take donations. And we'll take toys, whatever you want to bring, toothbrushes, crayons, colored pencils, paper, stuff that we take for granted every day they don't have. And they can't go to school without it. So, two more weeks. Two weeks from today, we need to turn the boxes back in. So, I just wanted to make sure everybody's on board. Thank you, gifted crafters and youth, for participating. And everybody else who's turned in a box, thank you so much. All right, I assume we have a children's sermon from Miss Debbie today. Yes? Yes, we do. Awesome. Let's go ahead and pray, and we'll bring our children forward. Heavenly Father. We thank you so much. We thank you for the many blessings and the lessons you've taught us and you're teaching us. As you put your hand upon Miss Debbie and Casey, allow them to speak to our hearts, speak to our children, so that they may, they may know your word and grow in you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, so much. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Children, you're welcome to come forward.
and then you get caught. Yeah, and then you get in trouble. And you get punished. Yeah, how's that make you feel? Bad and sad. Yeah. What if if you didn't get punished instead? What well, else? Maybe you're talking to. Maybe you ended up suffering the consequences of what you did, but you didn't get punished. Is that sometimes? sometimes? Yeah. That's called mercy. Not getting, not getting the punishment that you earned, that they deserve, right? So I, I love God's mercy because I need it a lot. He's, he's pretty good to me, let me tell you. He's very merciful. And probably to everybody else, too. And so I wonder sometimes, do you ever get tired of that? Oh, mercy, 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 mercy. You think you could run out of mercy? No. I sure hope not, huh? So, I have a bowl of water here. Alright, how much water do you think I have in there? Half a glass. Half a glass? Oh, maybe a big glass. Okay. So, what I was wondering is how many drops of water do I have in this bowl? Hmm? 100,000? Let's start counting, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Another one. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-twenty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four
this injured plane, this, this bomber that is barely, uh, barely left flying, and he looks into the plane, he sees giant holes uh, smashed into the, the plane, he sees blood scattered as he looks in, he flies close enough to see that, he sees the pilot who's struggling in the cockpit to keep the plane aloft, and instead of maneuvering his plane behind the bomber, he stays next to the bomber and he motions to the pilot to follow him. He tries to get the pilot to, to actually land the plane in Germany. The pilot, uh, his name of, of all kind of names, you'll, you'll get this, his name is Charlie Brown. You know, it's, it's like Charlie. <laughs> but, but the pilot, Charlie Brown, decides that he does not want to land, so the, the German fighter pilot actually follows him and escorts him so that no other planes attack him as he flies out over the English Channel and actually makes it miraculously back to England and lands safely. There's some mercy there. His duty, his obligation was to shoot that plane down, to, to stop an attack on his own country. And yet when he saw that the plane was so damaged and, and so beat up, instead of finishing the plane and, and killing the crew, he decides to, to help them escape, to, to allow them to, to fly safely home. There's some mercy there. That's what mercy is. If you got your Bible with you, let's look and see what the Lord has to say about mercy. We've been talking about the Beatitudes. We've been looking at Matthew chapter 5. Well, today we're going to look at Matthew chapter 5, verse 7. So if you got your Bible, I'll, I'll let you flip over there. Matthew chapter 5, verse 7 says, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Well, what does mercy mean? What is the definition of mercy? Miss Debbie was up here telling our, our children during the lesson what mercy was. Mercy is having that compassion on someone or something that, that deserves or should be receiving a punishment. Mercy is allowing that punishment to not happen. In other words, Removing the consequence for whatever action that person took. I've got a story to tell you. My Sunday school teacher has the best definition of justice, mercy, and grace. When I was at college at UNM, uh, my Sunday school teacher, Harvey Collier, had the greatest illustration to really show what justice, mercy, and grace actually mean. And his story went like this. You're outside playing ball in your yard. You're playing catch. You got your baseball. You got your glove. You got your friend across from you in the yard. Well, you throw the ball, and your friend misses, and the ball crashes through the living room window. <laughs> got that picture in your head, right? You are responsible for breaking that window. Mother comes out and says, you wait till your dad gets home. <laughs> Some of you might have heard that. Some of you might have even said that. 
Wait till your dad gets home. So you go into your bedroom. You're, you're sitting on that bed. You're not sure what to expect, but you're thinking it's not going to be pretty no matter how it turns out. And your dad opens the door when he comes home from work. And he says, you know, I've told you before, you should not have been playing ball in the yard. You've broken that window. It's your fault. And I hate to say it. Go give me my belt. Anybody ever heard of that? So, so you get where that part of the story goes. That is justice. The boy had been told, or you had been told, that you should not play ball in the yard. You've been told many times. You still did it anyway. You broke a window, so the consequence is justice. There is a punishment that goes along with that action, that decision. Therefore, it's justice. Second scenario, you break the window, wait till dad gets home, you're sitting on the bed, dad opens the door, and dad comes in and says, mom told me that you broke the window. Now, I know that you broke that window, I know that I had told you not to play in the yard, but you know what? I love you. I know you didn't want to break that window, you didn't set out to break that window. I forgive you. No consequence to that action. That is mercy. Punishment was deserved, yet it was taken away. Third scenario. Break the window, wait till dad gets home, sitting on the bed. Dad walks in. I hear you broke the window today. Man, that must have been a rough day. Let's go get some ice cream. <laughs> that is injustice. That's not even mercy. That is grace. Grace is getting something you definitely do not deserve. So mercy is when we should receive something in punishment. You know, we, we've done a wrong, and yet that punishment is taken away. When Jesus said, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy, he's talking to us. How do we show mercy? How well do we do that? Well, Scripture has a really good story. Jesus, of course, great storyteller, has a great parable that I want to share with you. If you got your Bible, I want you to just go a little bit farther along in Matthew to Matthew 18. We're going to start looking at verse 23. Matthew 18, 23 is a great parable. It's called the parable of the unjust servant. And, and you'll see why. Maybe you're familiar with this story. Uh, I'll start on verse 23. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 bags of gold was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. By the way, if you got a, like a New Living Translation, New Living Translation Bible actually doesn't say uh, 10,000 bags of gold. It kind of updates things. He owes him millions in gold. 10,000 bags of gold is a lot of money. This servant cannot pay it. And his punishment, his justice, is that he should be, you know, taken away. Not just him, but his wife, his family, and everything that he has be sold to, to re repay that debt. Which, by the way, do you think that reselling those items, his possessions, taking his family would ever clear up millions and millions in debt? No. So, what is justice here would not even clear, would not even make things zero out. Well, let's go on and tell the rest of the story. At this, the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. Now, there's a good thing. I wish banks worked a little bit more like that. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. 
It'll be help, helpful with a mortgage here and there. But the servant had no way of paying back that debt. There was no way he could pay millions upon millions of dollars, even by selling everything that he had. And so he begs him, and he's, the servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. He didn't just say, you know what, I'll postpone it. You can make a payment plan. You know, he canceled it. That's pretty good deal. Canceled it. But the story takes a turn here. Take a look at 28. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins. Point being, he owes millions. He finds someone who owes him a hundred silver coins. Just a little bit. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. Now we're all smart. You, you understand and you see the point that Jesus is about to make here, right? Servant was forgiven a large debt. Immediately thereafter has an opportunity to talk to someone who owes him. And what does he do? Does not show mercy, does not cancel the debt. Says, pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, be patient with me and I will pay it back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that had happened. He was forgiven a large debt, millions and millions. The small debt, the hundred silver coins, nothing in comparison. He does not forgive that debt. Yet he does the exact thing that should have been done to him, the justice that, that he should have got. He now puts on this other person, throws him in prison. The master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said, I canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed, over, handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all that he owed. Are we sometimes like that servant? Do we sometimes forget the things that we have been forgiven. Look at the very last verse here. I, I, I want to show you verse 35. And I'll ask the same question again. Do we sometimes forget the things that we have been forgiven? Because Jesus ends this story and he says something that, that brings it home. He's a great storyteller and he doesn't just tell a story just to tell a story. He brings it to a point and he says... This is how my heavenly Father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. The sin that we commit in our lives, the sin that, that we have, which by the way, Scripture says all have sinned, do we sometimes forget how God has forgiven us and yet we can really look at the people around us and think, you know, you did something wrong, you deserve blank, fill in the blank. Yet God, did he give us what we deserved? Jesus' sacrifice on that cross, Jesus' death, Jesus', Jesus blood was to forgive our sins. Yet I worry that sometimes, as Christians, we sometimes forget the sins that we were forgiven for. And yet we look at the people around us and we tell people, you shouldn't be doing that, you shouldn't have done that, that's wrong that you did that, you deserve to be, or you deserve something, fill in the blank. But yet if you look at it, did we get what our own bad decisions, our sin, our life, our, our whatever's deserved? 
No. So when Jesus tells this story, he's really illustrating in a negative way, mercy. The king shows mercy to his servant, yet the servant couldn't go out and show the same kind of mercy. And by the way, did you notice how the servant ended up? Was his debt still forgiven? No. Paul says something about this. We hold people to a level of perfection that sometimes we ourselves don't really keep up. But Paul says something about that that I want to show you. If you got your Bible, I want you to flip over to Luke chapter 6, verse 36. And, and I'm about to get to Paul, but I want to take a detour here to show you one other thing that Jesus says. Jesus says, be merciful just as your Father is merciful. We're forgiven those things, so we should actually be merciful along those same lines. But now, with that foundation, with Jesus' parable and Jesus' uh, teaching to be merciful like he is, let's look at Paul. If you've got your Bible, we're going to flip way over to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2. And I want to read from there. There's something that Paul says that really illustrates how we should be and sometimes how we're not. Take a look at Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1. Once you were dead because of your disobedience and your many sins, you used to live in sin just like the rest of the world, obeying the devil, the commander of the powers in the unseen world. He is the spirit at work in the hearts of those who refuse to obey God. All of us used to live that way, following the passionate desires and inclinations of our sinful nature. By our very nature, we were subject to God's anger, just like everyone else. Paul is writing to a church. He's writing to believers in Jesus. He's writing to these Christians at Ephesus, and he says, once you were dead. And he finishes this section here. By our very nature, we were subject to God's anger. Just like everyone else. That doesn't sound very good for those people at the church at Ephesus. They were dead. They were dead. And look at it. It says they were dead because of disobedience, because of sin. And it says um, they were following the passionate desires and inclinations of their sinful nature. People do that today. People follow their desires. Can you, can, can you talk yourself into doing something you shouldn't do? That's probably not unusual. You can find good excuses for doing things that you probably down deep know that you shouldn't be doing. But Paul's writing to these, these believers. He's not writing to general public here. This is actual Christians, believers. And he's saying, you were once dead because you were living this kind of life. It's kind of a depraved life that he's describing here. But watch how he finishes this section. The very next verse says, but God is so rich in mercy, and he loved us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's grace that you've been saved. Mercy is the forgiveness part. Mercy is the forgiveness like the, like the baseball and through the window when the father came home and said, that's all right, you're forgiven, no punishment. We're, we're the beneficiaries of God's mercy. Just like those people in Ephesus, we were dead to sin, or dead in sin. We were living a life that we shouldn't have had. We were doing things we shouldn't do. And I'm sorry to say it, but the scripture says everybody's like that. There's a punishment that goes along with that sin. 
The wages of sin is death. So when Paul says this, he's talking to people who deserved death for what they were doing. But God, first of all, shows mercy and forgives us that debt. Forgives us for the sin that we have. But to just make it even nicer, to kind of put the frosting on the cake a little bit, says, it is only by God's grace that you have been saved. Amen. Jesus says, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. And God deals in mercy. But we don't just have a God who deals in mercy. God ups that mercy and changes it into grace. Amen. To not just forgive us for what we've done and, and let us go about our, our, our sinful way and say, okay, you go ahead and continue in your sin and I'll look the other way. God could have done that. That could have been God's plan. But God's got a better plan. That he doesn't just mercifully forgive us of our sin. He actually adds grace to it. By sending Jesus so that now we actually have a life to live. A, a, a promise in that life. And the only thing is, is that we have to acknowledge that yes, we were sinful. We did things that we should not do. Anybody gossip? Anybody lost? Anybody? Well, we can fill in the blanks there. I, I, I don't want to bring around the mic and, and have us you know, do a little confessional or something. But we all, unfortunately, have a weakness for us for sin. And, and some people, it, it's a it's a certain sin. For other people, it's another one. I remember sitting uh, with my roommate, uh, shoot, way back 30 years ago, sitting with my roommate and having the same discussion and talking about certain sin is kind of prevalent with certain people. Some people may have a, have a, a weakness for, for alcohol, for drugs, for for some kind of um, medication, you know, some kind of, let me take something that will take the pain away kind of thing, and they can, they can fall into that addiction. Other people, it may be something else. And so we had that conversation, I remember that night, and it was like a thankfulness that there were certain things that were not prevalent in me, that... that just weren't a temptation to me, I guess, is the way to look at it. But I gotta say, as we sat and talked that night, there were some things that I could identify in my life and say, yeah, I have a hard time with that particular thing. Or, ooh, now that you mention it, that particular thing could be sort of difficult. Those are temptations. Those are things that, that I could easily make a bad choice in. God knows that that bad choice is not uncommon. It's so common that we all have our bad choices, our bad decisions. God's got a, a plan to rescue us from those bad decisions. Amen. That plan involves mercy to forgive us of our sin. It also involves grace to give us a promise of a life without that. The only thing that we need to recognize is that we need to, to know that Jesus made this sacrifice. We need to recognize His blood as cleansed and, and, and is the grace for that sin. We need to repent of it. We need to recognize that I did something wrong and, and I'm, I'm, I would like God to help me not to do that thing wrong anymore. We recognize Jesus' sacrifice, we repent, and we make a decision to let him be Lord. That's about as simple as it gets. You read the Old Testament, 
we were just talking about this with, with Gene in the portable. Gene has a massive tabernacle set in the portable. A life-size Ark of the Covenant. It's not an Area 51, if you've ever seen Indiana Jones. We're, we're, we're keeping it here. It's actually here. And it's a life-size tabernacle set. It's got the Ark. It's got the altar. It's got a uh, basin for washing. All these things that we're keeping in storage for somebody. But when we were out there talking about it, it made me think, the plan then was to sacrifice. That, you know, you take, an, you take an animal. We were talking about, about bulls. We were talking about goats. We were talking about um, actually blood sacrifice in the Old Testament. That was God's plan then. We don't live under that particular plan. There's a reason it's called the Old Testament. The New Testament is really more like the New Covenant. We live under, i got to say, from my personal opinion, a much better plan. God's sacrifice, Jesus' blood on that cross, takes the place of all those animal sacrifices things that, that, that the Old Testament talks about with Israel. All we got to do is acknowledge that. Repent of our sin, trust in God. And that's it. Simple plan. Simple. But sometimes we forget how simple it is. But that's it. This morning, I want to do a, a, an invitation time. Uh, Howard, could you bring up your, your group while we're setting up for that? We're going to do an invitation time. And maybe, 